Hello and welcome to another video on the Grimwood Watch Modern channel and today I have quite a big box in front of us here and yes this is not a wristwatch however it is a timepiece nevertheless. Now to give you a bit of background on this um, obviously I haven't been putting that many videos up of late and the main reason for that is basically family work and also the fact we're moving house. So money and time is basically at a very much a premium at the moment in time. However, in the new house we've got a big spare bedroom which we're going to use as an office and I'm actually going to use part of it as a studio for my YouTube videos and due to that I need some props like every good YouTuber needs in the background and a lot of people that do watch stuff have basically digital clocks or basically big clocks on the wall and this is my prop. Now uh, this type of clock I've always watched Wanted in my house. Now not this particular clock but this is a bit more kind of sensible than the one I was looking at and a bit cheaper as well and I'll go into the reason why. But basically it's a digital clock but it's got a slightly different twist to it. It's also from AliExpress so it is cheaper than what you would normally expect but still on AliExpress it is quite a high price to pay but here ho I've paid it. So just to break into the box first so you get this um, USB-C cable, a nice kind of red corded one as well that's very nice good quality. You also get a plug of death um, in the UK obviously we've got a very safe plug set up three pin you've got like windows on them to stop yourself basically electrocuting yourself, plug this in, becomes unsafe, stick your fingers in there, you're dead, so chuck that away straight away. You also get this charging point, and because you've already chucked the adapter of death away, you can't use this. However, because it uses basically um, USB, you can plug it into any USB charger or laptop, which obviously that's the reason why I've got my laptop in the background. There's also software with this as well to change it, and um, that makes this very interesting indeed. Now, getting it into the box, we're obviously... Oh, this is going to be fun. If you give us a second, I'll cut to it once I've got it out. Oh. And here we have it, the Novel Light Nixie Digital Clock in all of its glory. Now, I've actually set this up via the software to give this lovely kind of orange Nixie tube glow. The camera doesn't show it too well, but trust me, it does look absolutely fantastic, especially in the dark, which I will show you later on. Now, I've got it powered through the computer at the moment, but you can power it through a wall adapter. Just don't use the one that comes with it, because that is a death trap. I'll, I'll just throw that in the bin as soon as I've done this review. It is absolutely horrendous. But anyway, it is an it just looks stunning and I think for a prop for my channel it will work very well indeed. Now if you don't have a computer or you don't want to run it off a computer and you don't want to use the software there is a number of buttons on the back um, which I'll go through. There's a few settings such as as you can see an animation there that just runs through all the digits. You also have this one here which you can then go through all the colours which these are presets so there's around about seven or eight preset colours you can go through as you can see which are all very nice indeed. I'll just put it back to my one there. You also have a few animations as well. This one just goes through a set number of colours as it ticks down. You also have a breathing one, which is quite nice. You have a party one, you know, if you're having a bit of a, you know, party in your house, which at this moment in time none of us are having, but hey ho, you can dream. And then we have this lovely one, which I actually think is quite good, where it just kind of slowly cycles through the colours, and it's nice and calm and kind of, yeah, I do like that one. But at this moment in time, I'm trying to keep it traditional I'm keeping it with the orange glow but yeah it is very good indeed other features it's got it's got a motion sensor so you can set that up through the software and also on the back so if it sees movement it'll switch on stay on for a period of time if it sees no movement it will then go off which I think is a very nice feature indeed it's got an alarm clock it also has a speaking clock where you can set it to speak on the hour or every 15 minutes which is a good feature indeed especially I was thinking about this for kids learning the time and also people that might be kind of slightly blind. It would be a good feature to have for them as well. It, it, it does have a lot of features for what you pay for in my mind. And I'll show you in the software as well. I think this is a great tool to teach kids how to read digital time. Um, just because you can actually set each bank of digits a separate colour. So you can do minutes minutes, seconds and hours. It's, it's, it's great and you can also change it to a 12 hour clock which yet again is another fantastic thing you can have. So with the clock kind of basics out of the way I'm now going to show you a bit more in depth how the software works. 
Now let's move on to the software, which is a nice little feature of this clock as well. So if you've got a computer, which to be honest, the majority of people have nowadays, you can basically fully customize this clock to whatever you fancy. First off, you can get this for Macs and computers. So all you Mac users out there, this is something you can use as well. So this is the main interface and it is very, very simple indeed. So first off to the left here, we have the main clock. Also FYI, I do have the live clock down at the bottom right there. So you can actually see what I'm doing on the software is actually changing what's on the clock. But anyway, um, yeah, so the main clock's in the top left of the screen here. And as you can see, we've actually got it synced up to my clock on the right. So it basically matches the computer's time and gets a very accurate time because obviously that's going off the internet. Underneath each of the numerals, we have a color tab, which is obviously to individually customize each color of the numeral you want. We also have a time mode, so we've got a 24 or 12 hour setting. I prefer 24 hour cl uh, digital clocks, but if you prefer 12, you can set it in there. We have a bell time, we also have an alarm time, which we can set three individual alarms to whatever preference you want. We also have a voice, so this is for the talk and clock function, so on every hour and half an hour, it'll basically voice out the time. We have Chinese and English language at the moment, however, there's no more, but I think they're going to be adding more in the future from what I read in between the lines of. There is a volume for the voice here, I've got it set for midway when I actually do use it. We have lights, which is actually the brightness of the LEDs. I've got it turned up to 10 just because I've got lights on in the room so you can see it. And we then have a reaction time. Now what the reaction time is, is basically how long the clock will stay lit after it's seen a movement. Now one thing is with um, the alarm and the reaction time, once you've set the actual um, parameters in the software, you then have to activate it on the back of the clock using the actual buttons to switch it on or off. So that's that's one thing. The voice command though, you can actually switch on and off on the software. It would be nice to have the option to switch the other functions on and off on the software, but I digress. The other tabs you will have, you'll have a driver tab, which will take you to a basically a download drivers here tab, which will lead you to a website, you download the drivers for the clock. You do need them before you use any of the software for basically both the computer and the clock to communicate. You then have a open and close port tab here, and this basically just sets up communication between the clock and the computer. And then last but not least, we have a set config. So once you've got all your configuration the way you want, you press send config and it sends it to the clock. So let's do a quick config here. So at this moment in time, as you can see, I've got blue on the screen, blue numerals, all of them lit up. So let's say I want to change my hours to green. So I'll put a nice green color on there, as we can see. Another good feature is once you've selected the color once, it will keep that selection in the window so you can do all of them the same color and not have to kind of try and color match it. Um, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set three different colours. So let's have blue, blue, we'll have a nice ready, oh no, let's let's have a pink, let's have a hot pink or purple, whatever colour that is. And then once you've set that up, let's also set it for 12 hours, should we? There we go. And we send the config over, and as you can see there, we now have three different colours. We've got green, blue, and purpley, pinky colour, violet. Violet, that's the one. And once the config's fully set up, it'll bring up another window saying config basically complete, you will okay that and you can mess on with it. Now, this software, like I say, is very kind of intuitive and I picked it up in no time at all. Now, one thing about being able to set the colors individually for your hours, minutes and seconds, I think is a great thing if you've got a child that's trying to pick up the time because it means you can actually color code the minutes, hours and seconds and you can basically teach them via that and I think it's a great learning tool. And also if you want to mess around with colour options for changing moods of rooms and things like that or you want to try and match the colour of the clock to some furniture in your room, you can. And it looks absolutely gorgeous and just having the software there makes it totally versatile and customizable. Now like I say if you don't have the software which in this day and age is quite a shock thing if you if you're buying this clock I would dare say 99% of the time you will have a computer that you can put the software on but if you didn't you can set the majority of these features up using the actual buttons at the back and using the instruction sheet which is the two sheets are for it's, it is enough to get you by but like I say if you, the software is a way more intuitive way of doing it. So with the software covered and looked at I think it's time to move on to my final conclusions. And there you have it. I did say it looked quite good in the dark and um, I'm hoping the camera actually does it justice because 
with my eyes it looks great. Now one feature I've got to say is the best I think is the actual motion sense on this in the dark because it means you can go into a room without switching the light on and you know when you get up in the middle of the night and you're used to the dark you switch the light on you get blinded you fall over the dog you break your ribs it's just pain in the backside whereas with this it gives a nice gentle illumination to the room so you can see where you're going you can then see it's three in the morning so it's not time to get up and you can have another two hours in bed and you haven't broken your ribs over the dog so you know it's 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 a great multi-function kind of bit of kit it's got more uses than just telling the time and looking cool it also saves you hurting yourself in the dark i don't know where that rent came from but here who it did does still stand because um uh, yeah personal experience but here who i won't get into that so with that out of the way let's move on so my final conclusions on the novel light nixie clock well in all honesty i absolutely adore it it just looks like nothing else it's clean it's very it's clean retro and modern all at the same time i don't know how it does it but it does it just looks spectacular and i think it would sit in a number of different kind of room kind of color schemes or themes or whatever very easily indeed especially with the full customizable feature of changing obviously the light light colour on the LEDs which you wouldn't get with a Nixie clock. The other thing you don't get with a Nixie clock is the life of these because obviously LEDs last a lot longer than a Nixie tube. You also have the fact of these are actually a lot cheaper because a Nixie tube can cost quite a few, maybe 10-20 pounds per um, tube, maybe even 30 depending on the size of them and if you have to get six of them the cost starts ramping up. The other thing is I think this is a great educational tool like I touched on before. If you've got a child that's wanting to pick up digital time well if you segment each section of the clock you can basically pick out each part with your child and I think it would be more easy to digest so along with being fully functional it's also educational in my mind and being a watch guy, a horology guy and also slightly bit of a tech nerd this really does float my boat like nothing else and I think it'll be an excellent prop on my new kind of studio type office space that I'm putting together in my new house so with all that out the way let's wrap up the video please put in the comments as well do you like this clock do you think this would suit your house or do you just think it's a bit too out there and it's not really something you'd want you would prefer just a standard kind of clock sitting on your wall if you have liked this video please like subscribe press that bell icon for future videos coming up on my channel and notifications and as always keep safe and i will see you soon